It's good to see you again. You too, managers. You two seem to be in a good mood. I guess the seminar preparation went well? Thanks to everyone on 6th Street. They not only signed up for the seminar, they also helped spread the word to other districts. Do you in? I heard you'll be up on stage with the inspector answering questions from citizens. Don't worry. I'll bombard you with tons of questions so you won't feel left out. Uh, uh come on. Go easy on me. <laughs> you don't know, do you? Zhu Yuan gets super nervous in situations like this. She drank three pots of tea just to avoid nervously coughing up there. Sorry to interrupt, but I have something to report. We've analyzed and located the exact coordinates of the places Maroon previously identified inside the hollow. Please take a look at this. Thanks. I was also just informed that Inspector Bringer is on his way, and the media is waiting to get some pictures. Looks like we should go meet him. We'll investigate these locations in a couple of days. Hmm? Huh? Wait, there's something funny about these coordinates. Something funny? What are you seeing? Is something wrong? Sorry, you two, but something is weird about this report. I need to talk to Ju Yuan for a moment, if you'll excuse us. You can go on in. That officer mentioned Maroon. That's the guy who was causing trouble with the EMP emitter, right? Is something going wrong with the case? I've got a bad feeling about this. Let's try to get close enough to eavesdrop on their conversation. Those coordinates are the spots Maroon's gang scouted some time ago, right? What do you think is off about them? You remember the monster they found in that square a while back? Of course, the remains are scheduled to be recovered this afternoon. But wait, what about it? You think these two cases are connected? Perhaps. I just realized every location Maroon pointed out lies on the route the evidence carrier is taking. What? The EMP emitter Maroon used had been modified to bypass vehicle security systems. When used correctly, it can unlock car doors without damaging the electronics. Maroon said his crew procured specialized containers for preserving etheric material. We assumed they were targeting vehicles transporting valuable ether resources for large companies. But here's the thing. Public security's evidence carrier is the same kind of vehicle. Meaning? The evidence carrier could be in danger. Where is it now? Let me see. Right here. There's a slight delay in the surveillance signal, but the carrier seems headed towards its destination right now. But according to the record, it stopped for about 10 minutes somewhere in the hollow just 15 minutes ago. 10 minutes might not seem like much, but if someone's lying in wait with an EMP emitter, it'd be enough for them to snatch the evidence. We need to report this right now. I'll call it in. Wait a second. The carrier might have paused in the hollow due to changes in hollow structure or some other reason. We don't have solid proof yet of an attack on the carrier. Even if we report our suspicions, they won't immediately send someone. They'd follow protocol and do a remote analysis first. You're right. And if they do that, it could already be too late. Not only that, I'm worried about something else. The evidence recovery schedule was only decided recently and the route inside the hollow is top secret. But according to Maroon, his gang had been scouting those locations for a while now. Meaning, there might be a mole in public security. Exactly. If we report our suspicions now, we might tip them off. I'd rather head into the hollow myself. That's a huge risk. You know that's against policy. They could take action against us. It's urgent. We don't have time to argue. We spent a long time preparing for today's seminar. With the media gathered like this, it's a rare opportunity for you to showcase your knowledge in front of the inspector. You should stay here. We're partners. You can trust me to bring back the evidence safe and sound. You have my word. Inspector Bringer's car has arrived. 
the inspector is already here. We don't have time to hesitate. I need to get going. I'll leave the seminar to you. Worshipping an undeserving deity is sycophancy. Failure to act when action is needed shows a lack of courage. Huh? You said it yourself. An officer needs to be sure they're doing the right thing. I became an officer because of Inspector Bringer, but not for praise or his approval. I want to do for others what he did for me back then. I want to be someone who protects people. So you're going to... I'm going with you. That monster in the hollow is anything but ordinary. We have to protect the evidence. Besides, if the inspector really is the same as he was back then, I'm sure he'll support our choice. We can't just sit back and do nothing while the remains are in danger. Just like last time, we should try and help them any way we can. Made Rena at your service. Standing by. Judging by our predictions. They probably have the evidence by now. Any ideas on how we're gonna get it back? Here's what I'm thinking. To avoid raising suspicion, the suspects probably didn't damage the carrier's electronic systems. If that is indeed the case, we can check its driving record to pinpoint where exactly it stopped within the hollow. They're bound to have left some traces behind. The remains are bulky, so they can't move very quickly. Therefore, we can figure out where they went. Makes sense. Let's find the evidence carrier and see if our suspicions are right. I picked up the carrier's signal. Let's go. Juyuan and Qingyi are heading out to find the evidence carrier first. Fairy, can you try to find the carrier? Affirmative. Attempting to locate the evidence carrier. We need to help Jiyuan and Qingyi reach the evidence carrier quickly. I'm counting on you to plan a route. The evidence carrier signal is coming from over there. Ugh, the mobile device here seems unusable. Let me try adjusting the direction. Ugh, it's too heavy. Wise, something is blocking their way. Master, the firing direction of the ejector nearby can be adjusted. All right. Let's help them find a shortcut to save time. These switches can be used repeatedly. Think carefully about the direction. Huh? Did the device just move by itself? works now let's move something doesn't feel right let's follow them master high ether activity has been detected along the path to the evidence carriers location
evidence carrier is nearby. Jingyi, we should head over there now. Yes, finally! The carrier! Let's check on its condition. It looks fine on the outside. No signs of damage or being tampered with. Let's check inside. <sighs> We're doing this to protect the evidence, but... Messing with the carrier without permission will definitely require writing up a report. And probably a pay cut, too. Well, let's forget all that for now. Qingyi, help me unlock it. Huh? The evidence crate is still here. And the seal is untouched. Comparing the seal with the one in the photo, the angle is off by approximately three degrees, and the etheric matter feels totally different from what I sensed at the square. So, they really did get a hold of the evidence. They were gonna trick Hand by not leaving any trace. They went through all this trouble to make it seem like it was still there. That monster must be hiding some serious secrets. Chu Yuan, watch out! Department. They aren't gonna go down easy. We've been here for hours. You couldn't keep your cool for a little longer? <laughs> hey, relax. Our intel says it's just the two of them. They might have survived their ambush, but we can take them. Hurry up and deal with them. Officers go missing in the hollows every day. Hold on. Do you know the consequences of assaulting officers? Take your breath. We're dealing with a group of desperados. They never planned on leaving us alive. <laughs> Anthony, standing by. than I expected. And it sounds like they knew we were coming and set up an ambush near the carrier. What the heck is going? How could they have known we were going after the evidence? Hey, have you gotten rid of those two officers? There they are. They're coming after us. Run. Warning, multiple hostiles approaching the officer's location at high speed. The officers should change direction immediately to avoid direct confrontation with multiple armed individuals. You hear that? Multiple enemies. They're about to be in trouble. Fairy, is there a way to divert the enemy's attention? Master, I regret to inform you there are no electronic devices or controllable machines in the area. It's too late, Wise. Look at the map! Jiyuan and Qingyi are trapped. It's a dead end. Watch out, Qingyi! There's an ambush here, too! Get them! Coming through. They're closing in on us! Be careful. We've been surrounded. Stay calm. We sure have some firepower. How many members did they deploy to deal with us? <laughs> <laughs> Walking in. You did 
well. Stop right there! Won't be easy to get him off our tail. Let's face him head on. We'll run out of ammo if this continues. Ready and waiting. Press K twenty two. Maximum fire. This isn't good. Ji Yuan and Ching Yi are stuck in the building and surrounded by enemies. Let's keep our cool. They might be stuck, but the enemy can't breach the building easily either. Let's see if there's anything nearby we can use to help. Master. I've detected several unstable spatial fissures near the officer's location. Such spatial rifts are challenging to label in standard carrot data, but if utilized, they could help the target evacuate from their current location. Fairy may be able to locate the spatial rifts, but how do we tell Juyuan and Qingyi where to go? I can safely tap into the officer's intercom within the hollow, second assistant. But if we connect to their intercom, won't we expose ourselves? If it doesn't expose our exact identity, I think it's worth the risk if it saves lives. Question. Is the current objective to assist the two officers in leaving the current area, or rescue the two officers who are trapped? Aren't those the same thing? Negative. Remote communication has an 87.1% chance of successfully guiding the officers out of their current area. But due to the significant disparity in forces and the limitations of long-range communication, I cannot swiftly assess the target's surrounding environment. The risk of failure will rapidly mount. So you're saying, to keep them safe, WISE has to personally guide them as a proxy? Affirmative. However, appearing in front of public security may bring major risks. Ugh, what a pain. If they weren't public security officers, we wouldn't even hesitate. Do you remember what Ching Yi said? Failure to act when action is needed shows a lack of courage. Zhu Yuan and Ching Yi are good people. Despite the risks, I'll regret it forever if I choose to do nothing. Wise. And on the bright side, if we work together, we might be able to recover the stolen remains. Affirmative. Master's assumption is reasonable. Well then, let's go save them. This isn't good. They've totally surrounded us. Unless we can somehow distract them, we're stuck here. If we can't think of a way out, I'll go distract them so you have a chance to get away. What? What are you talking about? It was me who insisted we investigate inside the Hollow. He wouldn't even be in danger right now if it weren't for me. Besides, I'm not human. I'll be fine even if my body gets destroyed. But you don't have that luxury. Hold up. I'm your captain, right? If someone has to take responsibility for this mess, it should be me. Besides, your physical abilities are much better than mine. If one of us has to make a run for it, you'd have a much better chance at surviving. Now's not the time to argue. Exactly. Now's not the time to argue. Who's there? Wait, it's coming from the intercom. Someone hacked into our encrypted frequency. B but how? Instead of arguing about who should be the bait, how about I offer a solution that works for you both? Who are you? Why should we trust you? I can't convince you to trust me. I'm a proxy. Not exactly someone who should normally be talking to you. But, while I may be a proxy, I have a conscience. I can't turn a blind eye while you're in danger. A proxy? Alright, so what's the plan? I'll create an opportunity for you. Now, follow my instructions. But what about the enemy? Leave it to me. <laughs> now, go! They're getting away! What now? Straight ahead. Jump into the fissure. The fissure? <laughs> Us. 
There's another fissure straight ahead. They're closing in. They'll catch us at this rate. I have a plan. It might be risky, but I'm sure you can do it. Now that you've saved us, do you plan on making an appearance? Sure. We can finally talk now. You're a Bang Boo from Bellabog. Wait, no. There's no way an ordinary Bang Boo would be as capable as you, let alone hack into our intercom. So, who are you exactly? Ching Yi, have you heard the rumors about a legendary proxy who doesn't enter the hollows themselves, but manages real-time communication from the outside? Faith in. That's me. I'm Faith in. So you were already watching us when we received the report from Bellabog. Yeah, I was helping Bellabog Industries retrieve something lost. But I ended up running into that monster deep in the hollow. As you've already guessed, I think there's something unusual about that monster too. There's some kind of conspiracy behind it, and it's connected to what I've been chasing. In other words, you're helping us so Hand gets the evidence and can uncover the truth about the monster. Exactly. And it's still not too late to get the evidence back. According to page 173 of the Public Security Officer's Manual, in urgent situations, officers have the right to recruit assistants without verifying their identities. So you're suggesting... I'm willing to be said assistant. Let's work together and get that evidence back. Deal. Now's not the time for more questions. We accept your assistance, Faithen. But as you've seen, the enemy is well prepared and has the advantage in numbers. Don't worry, leave that to me. Since we lack manpower, we'll use the hollow against them. That's my specialty. We've arrived at the evidence carrier area. Loading environment data. Master, I have found a discarded toolbox up ahead. It could contain relevant clues to the case. Your attention is needed. It's time to put my expertise as a public security officer to good use. Connect the dots in the mind space and solve the case. Use this to access my mind space and share information. The display device has been used to show the mind space. Collected clues will be stored in the memory zone. Once the adjacent clues are found, the question will become apparent. We don't have enough clues right now. Let's go back and look for more. Master, there are footprints on the floor here that have been deliberately concealed. The clue has been stored in the mind space. Master, 
I have detected varying degrees of defects and damages to the electronic devices in this area. The clue has been stored in the mine space. Master, I have found a collapsed bamboo up ahead. The clue has been stored in the mine space. Master, there is a small forklift parked on one side of the scene. The vehicle might contain some clues. Decoding in progress. Please wait. Decoding completed. Now playing the previously saved recording. Didn't boss ask you to get something sturdy? You brought a forklift? The wicked bugs are on all sides! What's it matter as long as it moves? Who cares if it's a little windy? Whatever. Just get this thing moving already. The evidence carrier will be here soon. Let me check Big Head's carrot data. There's a new question in mind space. A question has arisen from the two collected clues. Master, do you want to solve it? Indeed. Judging from the marks left behind, the forklift was likely the culprit's means of transportation to the scene. After all the questions are answered, the truth will reveal itself. Right. Considering all the clues, this conclusion makes sense. Affirmative. It is highly likely that the culprits left on foot. The key question has emerged. You're right. Not only are the culprits carrying the evidence, but they also don't have a carrot. Hiding nearby while they wait for their accomplices would be the wisest choice. Master, all the clues have been gathered. The case replay is now available. The case replay is a simulation that recreates how the culprits committed the crime based on the existing clues. This allows you to watch how the incident happened in detail. Carrier will be here 
here soon. Stay close to me, Big Head. We'll bolt after taking the evidence. The evidence carrier's here. <laughs> Stop right here! Master, you might come across important scenes during the case replay that might help our investigation. Please pay close attention. Master, the culprits are whispering to each other in front of the door. Look, set a password for this door and lock it. Then we don't have to worry about anyone following us. That's brilliant! Let's use one, two, three, four, five. That's a dumb password. Let me set it. Five, four, three, two, one. this door and lock it. Then we don't have to worry about anyone following us. That's brilliant! That's a dumb password. Master, you can return to the real world to investigate now. We figured out the exit used by the culprits. Let's go check it out. Master. I found a hidden exit here. Oh, look, there's a spatial fissure over there. But how are we supposed to... Master, I found a surveillance camera corrupted by the hollow. Some of the data inside is still intact. Recorded. Once you return to reality, I'll guide you in real time. The culprits exited from here. The case replay is virtual, so you cannot pick anything up. I've highlighted the culprit's route for you. You're a godsend, Barry. Now let's follow that route.
There's a group of abandoned buildings ahead. Master, I found a surveillance camera corrupted by the hollow. Some of the data inside is still intact. Hey, what did you say? The PubSec officers are gone? Understood. Let's hide somewhere. There's a crack in this wall. We can get through here. Many walls here have cracks in them. Just find a suitable spot to get through. The case replay is virtual, so you cannot pick anything up. I must say, they're pretty good at hiding. The replay is over. Put your hands up! carrying an etheric matter container. Do you think this is really the stolen evidence? Yeah, no doubt about it. Even with it sealed, its aura gives me the creeps. Yes! Fantastic! We finally got the evidence back! The assailants that blocked our path earlier likely haven't figured out we've outmaneuvered them and retaken the evidence. At this point, all we need to do is get out of the hollow and we're safe. 
There's an exit nearby. I'll take you there. The exit is just up ahead. If you two aren't in a hurry to arrest me today, I suppose we'll go our separate ways here. Don't worry, I don't want to burn any bridges. It's bad karma. Besides, I've always thought indiscriminately arresting proxies isn't very fair. Circumstances aren't always the same for everyone. Uh, Chingyi, we're officers. Should you really be saying that? Uh, anyway, <laughs> thanks for your help, Faithen. I should thank you, too, for uncovering the threat to the evidence vehicle and fearlessly going into the hollow to protect it. Goodbye, officers. Hopefully our next meeting won't be quite so tense. Now that Faithen's gone, let's hurry up and get this evidence out of here. All right, let's go. Hmm, wait a minute. Faithen thanked us for uncovering the threat and fearlessly going into the hollow to protect it. Doesn't that sound suspicious to you? Suspicious? Ah, right. Logically speaking, while monitoring the evidence carrier, Faithen would have realized the evidence had been switched and upon seeing us assumed we were there to investigate. But it sounded like Faithen knew what happened outside the Hollow too. How oh, unexpected. It seems Faithen attended the seminar today. Ah, there you are. Are you free today? Want to come with me to the public security precinct at Lumina Square? I feel a bit uneasy every time I hear public security these days. Actually, I heard Ju Yuan and Xingyi will be heading back to their own branch today. It's probably best not to run into them again inside the hollows. But outside the hollows, it might be quite a while before we see them again. You're intending to convince them to register for a membership card, aren't you? Ah, uh, it's no fun when you know me so well. I was thinking, how about we give them a gift, too? Like a collector's edition of that popular PubSec movie, Mission Unthinkable. Good idea. That's the one where the main character goes against his superior and chooses to protect the citizens, right? They're gonna be leaving soon. Let's get going. We've got everything packed. Let's get it in the car. Phew, we made it just in time. Hey there, managers. What brings you here? We heard you're heading back to your own branch, so we wanted to say goodbye. We haven't known each other for long, but we've had quite a memorable time together, right? But, Zhu Yuan, weren't you supposed to be interviewed on stage for the seminar? Why did that officer with glasses go up instead? 
Belle was really looking forward to asking you questions, but you weren't there. I'm sorry, but we got assigned to a tricky case that day. I can't disclose the details, but it went well, largely due to the clues you provided about the 6th Street EMP case. Oh, really? That's awesome. It's not often you get to meet new people, so we brought you something to remember us by. A movie about a public security officer. We appreciate it, but it's against regulations for officers to accept gifts from citizens. However, could I buy the video as a customer of Random Play? Of course. We'd be delighted to have you as a customer. They're getting ready to leave, so how about we check out the neighborhood and finally grab that meal we've been meaning to have? Oh, I never expected our time at the Lumina Branch to be so eventful. Things turned out okay. The seminar settled, case cracked, evidence secure. It's just a shame. The reports we have to write are gonna be lame. Uh, hmm? Is that supposed to be a poem? <laughs> Excuse me, someone's calling me. Hey, you've got time to chat during the day? Well, this is a rarity. Hello. I'm looking over our graduation album. You're flipping through our graduation album? Now? This isn't another one of your weird exercises, is it? Mm-hmm. I'm trying to remember all of the names of our old classmates by looking at these photos. By the way... Do you still remember the graduation message you wrote for me? May you become the pursuant of true justice, the sharp blade of the law slicing through the wickedness of the night sky. Oh, all right, yet there's no need to shout. Someone might hear you. My apologies. It's just, this message really means a lot to me. How does the true justice mentioned in your message differ from regular justice? Is it comparable to the difference between an actual melon and a melon-flavored lollipop? <sighs> Many people say they taste pretty much the same. But even though the melons I buy are hardly ever sweet, I still prefer the taste of real melons. Just like your pursuit of true justice. A real melon will always be a real melon. That can never be imitated. Are those words of encouragement? Well... <laughs> Thanks. Wait, how does a member of Hand like you know that I've been reprimanded by the precinct? Because the case of the unidentified monster discovered by Balabog Industries has been transferred to Section 6. My intelligence officer pointed out that we might need you to come in and provide some more detailed intel. So, that thing's in your custody? Are you telling me there's something wrong with the evidence? That's the reason why I'm calling you. We found pieces of what resembles a mask within the monster's remains, and we managed to extract human DNA from it. Does this mean you figured out the origin of the monster? Unfortunately, no. Apart from determining the deceased as a male from the DNA, we compared it with DNA records of missing persons and criminals throughout the city, but found no matches. He may have been someone from outside the city with no known identity. But what do you think? Since Maroon risked going into the hollow to get it, there must be some secret on the deceased's body. I wouldn't think he's a nobody. I agree. But as of now, we're still missing the key to this puzzle. Thanks for the intel, Miyabi. Let's catch up in a few days. Mm-hmm. See you. Sorry for keeping you waiting. Judging from the conversation, I'm guessing there's some progress with the evidence over at hand? Seems so. They've made an important discovery. But that's only created more questions. Jump in, Chingyi. Let's talk more on the way. All right, let's go. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mr. Perlman. <sighs> Attorneys, always running so slowly. You're the ones who suggested we meet. Do you have any idea how long I've been waiting? Huh? Wait, it's, it's you! Uh, Sarah, you've got some nerve to show your face after the trouble you caused! <laughs> Come now, Mr. Perlman. It was your idea to deal with the residents in the Blast Zone. 
Not to mention the fact that your technical advisor and personal secretary, Sarah, never existed in the first place. Well then, there's no need to grit your teeth. I'm actually here to discuss business with you. Please confess to all your crimes in court, and we'll make sure you get the best treatment in prison. Huh. You and that bastard behind you are the ones who convinced me to carry out the blast in the first place. And now you want me to take all the blame. <laughs> That's quite the scheme. I hear recently Bella Park Industries stumbled upon a monster in that plaza inside the hollow, and the evidence collected from the creature's remains was almost stolen. Honestly, I've been wondering. The plaza isn't along the subway route, yet your plan included research of it and explosives for it. Your real goal is to retrieve the evidence, isn't it? I wonder what would happen if I brought this up in court. I'm sure the judge wouldn't entertain such baseless fantasies, Mr. Perlman. Baseless fantasies, you say? Huh. Let's get real, then. What if I told you I have proof of your involvement in the Vision case, along with that of the person behind you? Definitive proof. Hey, you heard what Perlman just said, right? I can't stand clingy men, but I must say that's quite the ace up his sleeve. Sounds like you're enjoying this situation. <laughs> How could that be? I'm genuinely concerned about our partnership. So what's your plan now? Will you agree to his terms? <laughs> 